Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and wanted to know how to make a. They actually sent me a picture. This is called half tone. Uh, this is a easy way. This is a easy way, but it's a little bit more process and just depending on your taste. So if you want to create your own, so I'm going to make two videos. I'm going to show how to make this one first, and then we're going to make this one. So just type out some text. And uh, I'm just going to use the word text. Oops. Make it a little bit bigger. And I just recently kind of found into this font, and I really like it. Um, sometimes you have to click on your pick tool to get the font back. And then go left click. And this time I'm going to go right click black. And actually make it thicker because that would cut and if you wanted so we're going to make it two points and scale with the object just in case you want to move it smaller and then we just need to make these dots and this is kind of fun and so make you a, a, a circle and just hold down your control key and make it about that size and then fill it with black and then take away the outline because you don't need the outline now we're going to use the duplicate tool. So I'm going to go control. Okay, let's make this point. Let's make it 0.25, just a rounded off number, 0.25. Now I'm going to take and make a duplicate control D, and I'm going to make the duplicate 0.22. If I have that locked, it would, I wouldn't have to type in both numbers. 0.22. Now we're going to move this up. And don't worry about the alignment. And then control D again, and it progressively is going to make them smaller, but it progressively makes them further apart. So we need to take and select them all, go up to object, align and distribute, align and distribute, and we want to align them up and down. And we want to line them the same distance between each other. And now we've got something pretty good. Now what I would actually do for the font, I would actually squeeze these together. They don't have to be perfect circles. Get them a little bit closer together and a little bit smaller. Then there's a number of things you could do. But we're going to just select them all in Control D and start moving in them and then hold down the control key and then control D and just go all the way across the, however you, where you want to go then you're going to take and have to group these together go to object group object so I could have gone control G then we're going to take our text and get a little bit closer we're going to grab our item and go up to object power clip power clip place inside frame and put it there now then you can click right here and edit power clip and we want to move our power clip down and then click on that box and there you have it and you can play around with that it could be your taste and you know maybe maybe make the dots not quite so small maybe make them closer together so that would be one way to do it so I'm going to make a second video if you want to stay tuned and watch it on how to do it this way. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.